Here's Brody Brazil. Full disclosure, I am 100% stealing the idea for this video from John Shea of the San Francisco Chronicle. Friend of the channel, John Shea. He's been good over all the years in covering Major League Baseball in the Bay Area. He writes for the San Francisco Chronicle. He recently penned a piece about a potential signing deadline for Major League Baseball. It's an interesting consideration, right? Because free agency opens up right after the World Series ends. But there's no deadline for Major League Baseball players to sign with their new team for the upcoming season. And it always brings questions into the end of January, the beginning of February. Some teams are not really fully put together. There's a lot of big name players like this year right now that are still not signed. I definitely don't want to take away leverage or the competitive aspect of market value for those players. But what if Major League Baseball were to impose a signing deadline for free agents to join their new teams. Like, here's the date where you need to be signed by your new team. As of January 19th, 2024, basically about a week ago, maybe by the time you're watching this, John had reported that 20 of the top 50 MLB free agents were yet to be signed. So it's not only a large quantity, which I'll get to. We're talking about a lot of big-name players this offseason for baseball still haven't found their home for next season and beyond. And it's not just 20 of the top 50. Four of the top seven, according to MLBTradeRumors.com, have not signed, like the the ranking of the seven. Four, we know, have not signed their contract with the next team. And that's, like I said, that's at the top of the attention, and those are all the names that you hear about and you see trending on social media. But in the big picture, of 169 MLB free agents here in 2024, 110, as of January 19th, had yet to sign an MLB contract for the upcoming season. It's way more than half. That's a large majority of free agents that had still yet to find their home. Does it matter? Are we just being impatient as observers of baseball and fans? Like, do we want to say, oh, we want to figure out what this team is going to look like? Stop the... You know, stop the delay. Like, let's just get right to it. Maybe it's a little bit of impatience. Maybe for the players, it would also ease their mind. It would lower the stress of the process for them to figure it out. You talk to a lot of Major League Baseball players, free agents this time of year, and they are a bit unsettled because their agents are working on this. But it's a a takes two to tango type situation. Got to have the team interest. Got to have the player interest, obviously, to sign a contract. So what if there was a deadline? And we'll discuss like what date that deadline would be in just a second and how actually it might create another offseason spectacle event for Major League Baseball. But the way it works right now, the effect of if they had a deadline goes like this. In Major League Baseball, free agents, they can sign with a new team five days after the World Series ends. I think it's actually two days they can agree maybe or the day after they can agree, but it takes five days until you can actually move forward after the World Series and sign a contract. So we know that the opportunity for free agents, it started a long time ago. Like the World Series over, you know, at the end of October, it's been a few good months that players could start signing with a new team. But here we go this year. Delays and a couple of the bigger names have have already latched. The Shohei Otanis, the uh, Yamamotos, like they've already made their signings, but there's a lot of players still out there. And we're three weeks away from spring training right now. And I think it's fair that most teams have not finished their business for this winter. I know there's some Giants fans watching this video right now, hoping that that team is not done with their offseason maneuvers. But it leaves the question of, should there be a deadline? Major League Baseball has always kind of been a dominoes fall league. And I say that meaning that, okay, once Otani signs with the team, watch the floodgates, the respective floodgates open here. And all these signings come through so fast and furious. But it really didn't happen that way. This year, the Otani deal happened with the Dodgers. And then Yoshinobu Yamamoto signed with the Dodgers also. And you thought, okay, now things are really going to open up. We've figured out maybe two of the top three or five free agent candidates. But it, it really didn't kind of lend itself to one through 20 being all squared away. It really didn't happen where the domino effect was quick and steadfast this winter. A deadline obviously would spike interest for fans. There would be a date, 
everybody would know it. There would be probably a signing frenzy within the last 24 to 96 hours leading up to that deadline of whatever the date is at noon Eastern or or 3 p.m. Eastern, whatever it is, there would be that excitement generated by every team's got to figure this out with their players. But again, I'm somebody who respects the business aspect of the players. I don't know how it might affect player contracts or it, it might limit their market value. If all of a sudden there's a deadline put on negotiations and deals, like one of the reasons right now that some players prefer to let this linger is that the teams will ultimately need the players for the season. And sometimes we see it that it's a middle of spring training signing or even a couple days before the season, a player gets signed to a major league team. So the players right now have the luxury of waiting this out, seeing how desperate the teams are. If there was a hard deadline, I might think that some of the teams might be able to get an upper hand on the players in terms of contract negotiations, but but maybe not. Maybe the trend would turn out that the teams realize that they're the ones on the hook to sign these players. And if they don't, some other team will jump at it first. So I think I might know how it goes. I don't want to commit to saying I've got a really good grasp on it, but I'm going to say it's unknown how a deadline to sign players might actually affect player contracts in the long run. I think the bigger picture for baseball is if they did this, a signing deadline, it would make the league and it would make the sport more of a, a year-round thing. A signing deadline could be like a late January tradition. I mean, honestly, like look at these couple weeks here between the, the NFC and AFC championship games to the Super Bowl. You kind of do have a slow and soft period in terms of professional sports. Sure, hockey's going on and the NBA are going on and they're having their all-star games coming up here. But this January and February – with the exception of the Super Bowl, they're always kind of slower months until baseball and spring training get underway. Things get a lot more crazy and hectic, like March, April, May, June, playoffs, baseball back, all that stuff. So it could kind of be a nice spot here in in late January to say, all right, January 26th or 27th or whatever it is could be the signing day tradition. It could be a big baseball experience where all of a sudden baseball is back on the map in the middle of winter. Everybody's focused on, all right, it's coming down to the final days. Who's going to sign Blake Snell? Who's going to sign Matt Chapman? And so on and so on. Baseball really still does not excel at year-round relevance they kind of go off the radar. And then there's winter meetings for just a couple days. And then whoosh, everybody's done for the holidays. And granted, I mean, I'm, I'm not expecting people to work year-round or the attention to be uh, required year-round. But the NFL seems to do a really good job at staying relevant in most months of the calendar year. And maybe to some respect, I talked about how it might affect player negotiations. Maybe in some way it would relieve a little bit of player stress. Right. If you're most players and I don't want to name the names, but I can think of a lot of players who I'm actually friendly with. Like I have a really good relationship with them and they're free agents right now and they don't know what team they're going to be playing for. They don't know if they're going to be headed to Florida for a month and a half or Arizona for a month and a half for spring training, whether they'll be signing a one year deal, a three year deal. Who knows whether they'll even get a deal. I mean, I get it. It's part of their job and it comes with the territory, but some of this would definitely relieve player stress in signing contracts by a certain deadline. So you let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Does this make sense? Is this too structured? Does this limit somebody? Is this boring? Is this not even worth it? I honestly, I've got some feelings, but I haven't settled in. I think I'd have to see this before I could really understand how I, how I feel about it. You've made it to the end of this video, and you know I appreciate that. Thumbs up down below. That'll greatly help me in this channel. And also, don't forget to subscribe so I can definitely see you back here next time.